Think of all those icons of a Canadian summer, the ice cream truck meandering through the neighborhood, playing merry melodies, that sleek vintage convertible cruising the boulevard, and of course, a lemonade stand manned by kids hoping to make a few extra bucks to buy candy bars or comic books. Um, apparently, looks like that last one, kitty lemonade stands, isn't quite the bee's knees when it comes to certain people in power, such as, for example, that knob of a bylaw enforcement officer in Ottawa who took it upon himself to shut down a lemonade stand being run by Eliza and Adela Andrews, ages seven and five. The reason for the closure? Well, you see, those kids didn't have the necessary paperwork. Yeah, apparently you need a permit for a lemonade stand these days, even if the proprietors are in elementary school. Geez, you can almost envision the bylaw officer goose-stepping over to those little girls and saying something along the lines of, Achtung, your papers, please? Now, believe it or not, folks, I've actually gone to bat for bylaw enforcement officers in the past before because in most cases, these people aren't looking to shut down a road hockey game or remove a basketball net from the street. The blame for that idiocy goes to that one asshat nosy neighbor on the block who complains to bylaw enforcement. Indeed, I've spoken to individual bylaw officers who tell me they hate carrying out any kind of war on kids, but they're obligated to enforce the rules if somebody complains. Okay, but the lemonade stand liquidation in Ottawa is apparently something else. Nobody complained about it, apparently. In fact, judging by the sales volume, the gals had raked in about 52 bucks before they were shut down. It looks like their stand was providing a much-needed service for thirsty revelers. Yet, even so, some unidentified bylaw officer decided he was going to fix a problem that didn't exist and that nobody was complaining about. So he told the kids to shutter their operation or else. Wow, is Canada now a nation so mummified in bureaucratic red tape that even children operating a makeshift lemonade stand need an official permit? Um, yeah, apparently so. And just like those mobsters who elicit protection money from small businesses, it looks like the ultimate mob, the government, wants a piece of the action too, apparently. Hey, after all, there are all those lofty public sector salaries and benefits and pensions to pay for. And every penny counts when it comes to their entitlements. But there is a happy ending to this tale of the Grinch who stole the lemonade stand. As you'd expect, there was a tsunami of a backlash on social media condemning the lemonade, the lemonade stand smackdown. And to their credit, the National Capital Commission issued an apology noting, quote, children's lemonade stands are a time-honored summer tradition that contribute to a lively capital and the NCC wants to encourage these activities whenever possible, end quote. Oh, Christmas in July. In any event, Lemonade Gate, as it's being called, might prove to be the ultimate good news story of the year. For I predict that when the girls reopen their lemonade stand, there will be a mob of customers lining up to support their enterprise. Some customers will want to quench their thirst on a hot summer day, but others, I suspect, will look upon this opportunity to give a metaphorical middle finger to the redundant red tape and power-tripping bureaucrats that have the power to make our lives so miserable. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.